Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I get into today's video, I just wanted to thank Monica Vinader for, for sponsoring today's video. They are a beautiful jewelry company. All of their jewelry is made to last and each piece honestly is just so pretty and made to be one of your favorite pieces ever. You guys know I'm a big jewelry girl and I love my necklaces. I love layering them and always switching them up in my hoops. So they are the perfect company if you guys want to wear cute statement pieces to pull together your whole entire outfit. You guys will see how I styled each piece in this video. I am wearing hoops and two necklaces that I layered. I will also have them linked down below for you guys. And my discount code will be right here and down in the description for 20% off. So if you guys want to check them out and you, I know you guys love my jewelry pieces and are always asking where my jewelry is from. So if you guys want to check out any of these pieces, like I said, they'll be down below and you guys can wear them too. If you guys saw how my camera was being set up right now, you would be like, what's going on? It's balancing on a mirror. But hi guys, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I am getting ready for a date. <laughs> So here is a date night. Get ready with me. I'm gonna show you guys my makeup and I have no idea what I'm wearing, but I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Jewelry, makeup, everything. So get right into my makeup. Let's start with that. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna do too much makeup. I feel like I always normally wear light pretty light makeup and so I'm gonna stick to the basics and not do anything special because I really don't find point in that. It's been pretty good lately but I'm gonna use this foundation you guys that is like my favorite foundation right now in the whole entire world and so this is it. It's the Giorgio Armani Luna Silk foundation. I'm gonna start off with that. I haven't done an updated makeup routine for you guys, so this is good because I'm like actually fully getting ready right now. That foundation that I use, it just makes it have such a flawless finish. Looks so good. And then I am going in with my Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This is in the shade Light to Medium Sand. Oh, and if you're wondering for the foundation, I use 5.5. But anyway, doing this quick corner of my eyes. And then I go like this. And I just like make it go out, kind of like a fox eye look. And that's all I'm doing for concealer today. I feel like I'm pretty tired, so gotta get the, the vibes going right now. How are you guys? Let's talk about relationships, maybe. I feel like I never talk about relationships online or boys or anything, but going on a date and honestly the person I'm going on a date with I feel so weird talking about this or like saying anything because I normally don't but he seems like a really nice guy you know but yeah I don't know guys are funny do you guys know what I mean it's just I don't even know what to say I've never talked about anything like this before online and I don't really want to share my relationship online or relationships I've never before I just feel like out of their like respect of the other person as well as myself I don't really talk about it because I don't know just like from what I've learned it's just like that but I'm really excited so hopefully it goes well now I'm going in with some bronzer this is my cream contour and it is in the shade baked by milk makeup I love this bronzer. It is just so, so, so good. I just put it on my cheekbones with a Sephora collection brush. This is a pro contour brush. And then I put some on my forehead. And I 
to contour my nose a bit. I should like put on my full volume just in case. Yeah. I contour my nose a bit. Kind of lightly. And then a little under lip. To give it kind of more of a pout. Oh, if I stay in my cure, it looks better for you guys. And then jawline. brush and I'm just gonna like gonna dot it rub it up blend it rub it blend it bronzer is done now I'm going with blush this is the glowgasm beauty light wand by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just gonna put this on the high points of my cheeks I kind of like to overdo it with blush it's one of my favorite makeup products I had like an holy grail Makeup product, honestly, it would be blush. I feel like for the longest time it was bronzer or like contour, which I do love, but blush just really adds so much to your face. Like I get bronzer does too, but blush really adds like a cute little glow, you know? And I'm gonna bring it underneath my eyes to make it look more of like a sun-kissed look on my nose. Cute. Now, what do I need to go in with? I think I'm going to set my makeup now. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I use the shade Medium. And I'm just gonna take this eyeshadow Pro Crease Brush and I am going to set my under eyes with it. where I will crease throughout the night and or get oily. Cool, it's all set. Now I am moving in with, hmm, what should I do next? I think I might add a little bit of bronzer on top of this just to, you know, add a little bit more of a warmthness to my face. So I'm using the Hula bronzer with a big old bronzer brush. I'm just lightly dusting it on my face. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna set it all to make sure it's all just pat down and I am using the Professional Super Setter Spray. eyebrows and my eyelashes so first we'll start out with eyebrows this is the 24 hour brow setter by benefit my holy grail brow item you guys know about it if you have followed me for a while i've used this product forever and it's my favorite in the whole world it really sets your brows for so long which i need to get my eyebrows on and then I'm gonna go in with my mascara. This is my favorite mascara right now. It is Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I really have been loving this mascara a lot recently. I got a small version in a package, like a PR package, from the podcast Pretty Basic when they came out with a line with Tarte. And I tried it for so long and then only have the small version, finally got the big version. Now I'm gonna do my lips. I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury, if I could find it. Here she is. Cool. My Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And I am going to overline my lips, but not a lot. What I've been liking lately is just overlining the center of my lips, like Cupid's bow area, and then the bottom right here. And then I kind of just like drag the line. I don't follow my natural line. I kind of like go in it 
for the little just kind of to make it more of a pout in the center rather than my lips being overlined if that makes any sense i'm going to do it off camera so i can get close to the mirror I'll show you guys when i get back so you guys i called jet blue to cancel my flight and like change it and they didn't answer me they put me on hold for even though i'm mosaic they put me on hold for not hold, but put me on like the wait list for two hours. <laughs> no, I'm no, I mean 230 <laughs> minutes, not two hours. Which is how long? I saw. Like, it's jail time, basically. Yeah. Overlined. I don't know if you guys can even see. Because this lighting is so bad. What? I'm talking to my camera. <sighs> and then I'm just going over top with the. Oh, with nope. um. The Glow Oil, this one is just the Dior Clear Glow Oil, the shade 000, angel numbers. Um, is, is 000 an angel number? Yeah. It's a good one too. Well, going with 000 for my date. Universal Clear, this one tastes good. Kind of tastes like cotton candy. Mm -hmm. Just because I don't want a crazy lip look. Night, but I want them to be gloss, gloss. How should I do my hair tonight, do you think? Oh, that outfit? That outfit, yes. Do you like a bun, like a middle part with a low bun? But not slick. Like not kind of slick, like a, but like a messy. Messy? Yeah. Cool. So my outfit tonight, you guys, is really cute. You will see it. And yeah, I swore that I brought my little camera. So I think my hair is done. I'm just gonna do nothing crazy. Just a little low bun, middle part. Nothing slick back, very chill. For jewelry, I'm wearing these Monica Vinadier hoops. I just got these gold hoops by them and they're the most beautiful hoops ever. Let me get them out of the little casing. So here is what they look like, if you guys can see. They are just these gold hoops that have this little detail. Oh yeah, you can see that right there. <laughs> so cute. I'm gonna wear these tonight with in my first hole and then I have my just normal little oh, ones I that I those. wear daily. I know, these are so cute. They're very thin and light. So, and when they go in, they're not a back. Like it's not like you're putting a back on your earring. I feel like sometimes backings on earrings pull my ear down, but these ones are just a little clip and it's very comfy, they're very light. Good quality hoop. And then the necklace I'm wearing is this little pendant on a chain. I don't know if you guys can see the little pendant, but it's a little square and it has a heart on it. It's so cute, tiny, tiny little heart. And I'm gonna wear Oh my this God, one. that's cute. For love. Uh, For love. love. <laughs> oh my God, hopefully it'll bring me some love. Oh yeah, On this well. first date. Guys, pray. I mean, date's gonna be over by the time you guys see this, so pray it goes well, though. You have to, like, update them at the end and let them know. Like, put a little clip and be like, date went well. <laughs> guys, I never <laughs> talked about, like, date dating my channel before. Because, I mean, the people that I were with in the past were just very immature. You know? You feel? Anyway, now I'm gonna go and layer, double layer the chains tonight. And I got this chain also, which is a beautiful, thicker looking chain. So since I am wearing a very thin chain with a little pendant on it, this one obviously is a bit thicker. So it kind of adds texture to my necklaces. I love layering my necklaces. You guys have probably seen me layer necklaces multiple times before. Um, my friend Elle was wearing a necklace like this one today and she wore it like this which is also a really cool style, like a way you can wear this necklace since it's not a normal clasp chain and it's like a little ring that you obviously put the part through, but I'm gonna wear that in the back and I'm just gonna wear it as a normal chain tonight in double, double, double layer. So yeah, so cute. Okay, now it is outfit time. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Well, I do know what I'm gonna wear, but I don't know. It's gonna look so cute, your yeah. outfit. I don't know yet how it looks on. Cause I haven't tried it on yet, so let's hope. I always put two. You guys can 
shop all of the jewelry pieces that I am wearing tonight down below. I'll have all the links for you guys. I will also have a code down there for you and on the screen for 20% off. Here's my outfit. <laughs> Elle is going to be showing you the outfit for me. Okay. So walk over here. Maggie, where's this top from? Uh, that is the one. <laughs> top is Ryan Boa. My shorts are a pair of Levi's. I actually got these from a Ritzia. They're a high rise Levi little jean shorts. Cute. And my boots remind me of that picture of Patrick Starr that I'll insert right here. Yeah. And they are from Princess Polly. Cute. I feel oh, like your yeah. mother right now. <laughs> Take this I'm also going to show you guys which. Perfume I'm wearing. This is Black Opium YSL perfume. 